In an earlier video when we looked at entering dates into an Excel worksheet, we discovered that dates are dealt with by Excel as the number of days that have expired since the 1st of January 1900. Because dates are just large numbers of days, it's easy to add days to a date. Here we have the beginnings of a worksheet that calculates the shipping date for an order. The shipping date should be a maximum of seven days after the order date. So we can make a calculation exactly the same way as we would make it if we were calculating using numbers. I'm going to calculate the date by which we need to ship this order to be within our stated shipping time. I'm going to type an equal sign and then I'm going to add seven days to this date. So I'm going to click on the date and then plus seven and press enter. The order made on the 27th of February needs to be shipped on or before the 6th of March. Now we can also calculate this in reverse. So if somebody were to call us up and say that they needed a product shipped on or before the 13th of March, we could tell them when they need to make that order by. I'm going to start by typing in the 13th of March into the cell. And then I'm going to determine what day is seven days prior to this date. So I'm going to type equals. I'm going to click on the cell containing the 13th of March and subtract seven days from it. That will give us the date by which the order must be made for it to ship on or before the 13th of March, given that we ship within seven days of the order. You can also subtract dates from each other. Consider that this particular worksheet tracks the performance for a business and the business owner wants to start reducing the number of days between an order being received and the order being shipped. To do this, the owner is tracking the actual ship date so it can be used to determine how the business is progressing towards its goal. Let's calculate the order completion, the number of days it took to complete this particular order. To do this, I need to subtract the order date from the actual shipping date. I'll press equal. I'll click on the actual shipping date and then subtract from it the order date and press enter. It took us four days to complete this order. If this order is shipped on the 4th of March, let's see what the answer for this in terms of how long it took for us to complete the order is. I'll type in the 4th of March as being the actual shipping date. Again, I want to subtract the 27th of February from the 4th of March. I'll type equals, point to the 4th of March, subtract, and then point to the date I want to subtract from it and press enter. It took us five days to complete this order.